Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Thank you so much for joining me for Vinyasa Yoga this evening. My name is Julia and I'll be guiding you through your practice today. Before we get started, we're gonna, I'm gonna read you the William & Mary Campus Rec waiver. It says, in order to make these classes as freely accessible to our participants, we will be using a verbal warning and assumption of risk at the beginning of the class. Participation in this online class is voluntary. Physical activity programs may result in injury, and by participating, you assume the risk of injury that may result from your participation. We strongly recommend that you participate from a space that is suitable for this activity. For example, make sure that you have moved nearby furniture and other potential hazards. If you are participating in a yoga class or a class that involves laying on the ground, we recommend using a mat, or if you don't have one, a carpeted area. Participants are encouraged to stop if they experience pain or injury and should seek appropriate medical advice or care as needed. William & Mary Health and Wellness strongly recommends that each participant have an annual physical examination and follow the advice of your healthcare provider before participating. All right, so let's get started in a comfortable seated position on your mat, reaching through the crown of the head, stacking your shoulders over your hips, Allow the gaze to soften or the eyes to close, resting your palms on your thighs, and emptying out all the air from your lungs, starting on empty, and taking a deep, slow inhale through the nose. Filling up the lungs as much as you can, and open the mouth, cleansing exhale. Empty out all the breath, Again, deep, slow inhale through the nose. Cleansing exhale. One more time, deep, slow inhale. Cleansing exhale. Emptying out all the air, starting on empty. And this time, just inhaling a third of the way full and hold. Inhale two thirds and hold. Inhale all the way and hold at the top. Exhale one third, hold. Exhale two thirds, hold. Exhale all the way and hold at the bottom. Inhale one third, two thirds three-thirds. Exhale, one-third, two-thirds, three-thirds. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, three, two, one. And feel free to continue this three-part breath at your own pace or just going back to your natural breath. Feel free to join me in moving into ujjayi breath, slightly constricting the back of the throat, still breathing in and out through the nose, but creating a little bit of an ocean sound. Start to blink the eyes open, switch the crossing of the legs. 
Sit up nice and tall, drawing the shoulder blades down the back. And bring your, your right ear towards your right shoulder. Come back through center, bring your left ear towards your left shoulder. Through center, right ear to right shoulder. Once again, left ear to left shoulder. Back to center, reaching your arms up overhead, side stretching over to the right, keeping space between the shoulders and the ears, keeping the weight evenly distributed between your sits bones. Come through center, stretching over to the left, opening up the chest. Once again, over to the right, maybe going a little bit deeper. Through center, over to the left. And back to center. Make your way into tabletop. Stacking shoulders over wrists, stacking hips over knees. Feet are directly behind your knees. If you look behind you, you shouldn't be able to see them. Elongating the spine and dipping the back, bringing the gaze forward for cow. Rounding the spine, tucking the chin for cat. Bringing your hips to your heels, child, and coming forward onto your forearms, dipping the back, cow bow. Coming up on the hands, cow. Rounding the spine, cat. Lowering the hips. Pulling through on your forearms. Coming up on your hands. Moving through this cycle at your own pace for a few more rounds. And meeting in neutral. Let's thread the needle, reaching up towards the ceiling with your right arm and threading through just to a hover. Reach up towards the ceiling. Once again, threading through just to a hover. Reaching up towards the ceiling and this time threading the needle all the way through, resting your shoulder and your head on the mat. Extending your left arm above your head and pressing your left hand into the mat. Press your left hand into the mat. Reach your right arm up towards the ceiling and lower your right arm hand back down onto the mat. Reaching up with the left hand, threading through to a hover. Extend, thread to a hover. Extend, this time threading through all the way, resting your shoulder and the side of your head on the mat. Pressing your right hand into the mat above your head. Press your right hand into the mat. Reach your left hand up towards the ceiling. Come back to tabletop and send your hips back to your heels, resting your forehead on the mat. And reaching your arms back behind you in child's pose. Okay. 
Reach your arms out in front, lift the hips, tap the toes, and send the hips up and back to downward facing dog. Pedaling out the feet, walking your dog, pressing into the roots of the fingers, chest coming towards your thighs, releasing the head and shoulders, nodding your head yes, shaking your head no. Coming up on the toes, bend the knees, and straighten the legs as you bring your heels closer to the mat. Finding stillness. Bring the gaze towards the top of the mat and slowly walk your way forward to forward fold, bending generously into the knees, shifting the weight forward so that your hips are over your ankles. and grounding through the feet as you slowly come all the way up with a flat back, reaching your arms overhead, upward salute, drawing the pinkies towards one another, allowing the shoulder blades to glide down the back, drawing your hands through heart center to Tadasana, mountain pose. Building our mountain pose from the ground up, rooting through the three corners of the feet, which are below the big toe mound, the little toe mound, and the heel, Drawing up, toward, drawing up through the kneecaps, externally rotating the shoulders, sending energy through the fingertips, and reaching through the crown of the head. Reaching your arms up towards the ceiling, soft bend in the knees, hinging forward with a flat back from the hip creases to forward fold. Halfway lift, tracing the fingertips of the shins with a flat back, reaching through the crown of the head and back to fold. Plant your hands on the mat, step back to plank. Lowering your knees to the mat, untuck your toes and keep your elbows hugging in by your sides as you lower all the way down, resting your forehead on the mat. Pressing the tops of the feet into the mat, legs engaged, kneecaps lifting, hover your fingertips above the mat. As you inhale, peel the chest off the mat for baby cobra, Bhujangasana. Gaze lowered. And exhale back down, press your hands into the mat, tuck your toes, send the hips up through tabletop to downward dog. Bring the gaze to the top of the mat, slowly walking forward to fold. Grounding through the feet, coming up to upward salute. Drawing your hands through heart center to Tadasana. And feel free to grab water anytime you need. Upward salute, bend the knees, forward fold. Halfway lift, back to fold. Plant your hands on the mat, step back to plank. Knees on or off the mat, lower all the way down. Tenting your fingertips to either side, bending your elbows up towards the ceiling. Peel the chest off the mat for this cobra variation. If you'd like, you can dip one shoulder and then the other for a nice shoulder stretch. And lower back down, press your hands into the mat, tuck your toes, then the hips back to downward dog. Lift your left leg up to three-legged dog, dialing your pinky toe to point towards the mat to level out your hips. Bend the knee, draw it in towards the chest and plant your left foot. Lower the back knee, untuck the back toes, finding low lunge with your front knee stacked over your ankle, your left hip drawing back and your right hip drawing forward. Beginning to straighten the leg, coming into runner's lunge, opening up the hamstring, and moving through low lunge and runner's lunge at your own pace. We'll meet in low lunge, and you can stay here, or you can bring one hand and then the other up onto the thigh, 
reaching your arms overhead. Bring the foot, tuck the back toes, lift the knee, bend the left leg back to downward dog. Bring the gaze to the top of the mat and slowly walk forward to fold. Reaching up towards the ceiling, drawing your hands through heart center to Tadasana. Coming right back up and folding forward. Halfway lift, back to fold. Plant your hands, step back to plank. And you can either lower all the way down to take cobra or you can come forward on, on the toes, lower halfway to chaturanga and pull forward to upward facing dog. Lifting the hips and knees off the mat, gaze forward. And we'll all meet in downward dog. Lifting the right leg to three-legged dog, bend the knee, draw it towards the chest, lower the back knee, untuck the back toes, or at least act over ankle. And extending the front leg, coming into runner's lunge and flowing between low lunge and runner's lunge at your own pace. We'll meet in low lunge, reaching your arms up towards the ceiling, planting your hands on the mat, tuck the back toes, lift the knee, stepping forward to forward fold. Grounding through the feet as you slowly come all the way back up with your hands together at heart center. And let's sit back into chair pose, Utkatasana. With your chest nice and lifted, you should still be able to see the tips of your toes. Maybe sinking a little bit deeper, reaching your arms up overhead if that feels good. Great job, let's forward fold. Halfway lift, back to fold. Plant your hands on the mat, step back to plank. Stacking your shoulders over your wrists, reaching through the crown of the head, pressing back through your heels for engage. And feel free to take any vinyasa flow that you'd like, something that we've already done. It can be cat and cow. And we'll all meet in downward dog. Lifting the left leg to three-legged dog, this time bending the knee and opening up the hips, stacking one on top of the other, and keeping the weight evenly distributed between your two arms. Drawing circles with the ankle, and switching direction. Square the hips, straighten the leg, come forward to three-legged plank, and bring your left knee to your left elbow and hold. Extend, left knee to right elbow, hold. Extend, knee to nose and plant the left foot, planting the right foot as well so that your front heel is aligned with the back arch. Windmilling the arms up to warrior two. Stacking your shoulders over your hips, front knee stacked over your ankle, grounding through the outer edge of the back foot. Arms out to the side, gaze over the front fingertips. Beautiful job. Flip, excuse me, flip the front palm, reverse your warrior. Back to warrior two, windmill the arms back down, step back to downward dog, lifting the right leg. Bend the knee, open up the hips, drawing circles with the ankle, switch directions. Square the hips, straighten the leg, come, come forward to three-legged plank, bring your right knee to your right elbow and hold. 
You got this. Extend, right knee to left elbow. Extend and plant the right foot in the back foot as well, front heel to back arch, windmilling the arms up to warrior two. Finding that nice external rotation in the front leg, internal rotation in the back leg, tucking the tailbone, flip the front palm, reverse warrior. Back to warrior two. Windmill the arms back down. Step back to downward dog. Bring the gaze forward and step or float to the top of the mat. Coming all the way up. Drawing your hands through heart center. And sinking back into chair pose once again. Taking whichever arm position you prefer. And forward fold. Halfway lift, back to fold. Plant your hands on the mat, step back to plank. Take the flow of your choice and meet in downward dog. Let's lower the knees to the mat, coming into tabletop. Extending your right leg, bringing your right hand to your hip as you open up the hips and the shoulders, stacking your shoulders on top of the, one on top of the other, stacking your hips one on top of the other, and extending your right arm overhead, finding a nice side stretch. Reaching your right arm up towards the ceiling, Lifting the right leg up off the mat, pressing the right foot into the invisible wall behind you. Really opening up the chest, engaging the core. This is a great prep pose for our peak pose that we'll do today, which is half moon. Great job. Let's lower back down to tabletop. Tuck the toes and send the hips back to downward dog. Lift the left leg, planting the left foot and the right foot, windmilling the arms up to warrior two. Coming forward and lowering your left elbow to your thigh, reaching your right arm overhead, extended side angle. Really opening up the chest, still grounding through the outer edge of the back foot. Coming up through warrior two, reverse your warrior. Windmill the arms back down, step back to downward dog. Bring the gaze to the top of the mat, slowly walking your way forward to fold. Reaching up towards the ceiling, drawing your hands through heart center, sinking down into chair pose, and folding forward. Halfway lift, back to fold. Plant your hands, step back to plank, take a flow of your choice, and we'll meet in tabletop. Extending your left leg, bringing your left hand to your hip, opening up the chest, stacking the shoulders, stacking the hips, reaching your left arm overhead for a side stretch, and then reaching your left arm up towards the ceiling, lifting your left leg, Pressing into the invisible wall behind you, opening up the chest, engaging the core. Awesome job. Lower back down to tabletop, tuck your toes, 
Meet in downward dog, lifting the right leg, setting up for warrior two, windmilling the arms up, reaching forward, lowering your elbow to your thigh, extended side angle. Back through warrior two, reversing your warrior. Windmill the arms down to the mat, step back to downward dog. Lower your knees to the mat, untuck your toes, send the hips back to child's pose. Resting your forehead on the mat, reaching your arms down by your side. Reach your arms out in front, lift the hips, tuck your toes, downward dog, and step or float to the top of the mat. Upward salute, hands at heart center, sinking down into chair, this time twisting towards the right, hooking your elbow to the outer edge of your thigh, still keeping the knees even. Back to center, forward fold, halfway lift, back to fold. Plant your hands on the mat and step back to plank, staying here and rolling onto your right side for side plank. If you need to, you can lower your left knee or you can create sort of a kickstand with your right foot, making sure that we're lifting up the hips and opening up the chest. Great job. All right, a couple more seconds. Lower down to plank, send the hips back to downward dog. Lower the knees, send the hips back to child's pose. Lift the hips, tuck the toes, downward dog. Reaching your left hand to your right ankle for a twist. Back to center, right hand to left ankle. Back to center, lift your left leg, bend the knee, draw it in towards the chest. Set up for warrior two, windmilling the arms up and flowing through extended side angle and reverse warrior at your own pace doing some dynamic movement. Meeting in warrior two, windmilling the arms down, and stepping forward to forward fold. Reaching up towards the ceiling, hands at heart center, and sitting back into chair. This time, twisting over to the right, hooking your right elbow to the outer edge of your left thigh. Back to center, forward fold, halfway lift, back to fold. Plant your hands on the mat, step back to plank. This time rolling onto your right hand, coming into side plank, taking any modification that you need to.
Great job. Coming back to plank. Downward dog. Lower your knees to the mat. Untuck your toes. Taking child's pose. Tuck the toes, lift the hips to downward dog. Lift the right leg. Setting up for warrior two. Windmilling the arms up. And flowing through extended side angle and reverse warrior at your own pace. Windmilling the arms back down. Stepping back to downward dog. And step or float to forward fold. Reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Drawing your hands through heart center to Tadasana. Taking a full breath cycle. Upward salute, forward fold, halfway lift, back to fold. Plant your hands on the mat, step back to plank and take a flow of your choice. Meet in downward dog. Lift the left leg. Set up for warrior two. Coming all the way up. Taking a short step in, straightening both legs, keeping a micro bend in each knee. Reaching forward, bumping out your back hip and lowering your left hand to your um, calf for um, triangle pose. Gaze lower to your foot. Or you can tuck the chin and bring your gaze to your extended upper arm. Really opening up the chest, creating space between the shoulders and the elbow, or between the shoulders and the ears. And using your core to lift yourself back up to standing, bring your hands to your hips, parallel the feet to one another, lengthen through the spine and fold forward from the hip creases with a flat back to wide-legged forward fold, keeping micro bends in the knees, releasing the head and shoulders, bringing the, um, the weight a little bit more forward into the balls of the feet. Ground through the feet, Bring your hands to your hips, slowly coming all the way back up with a flat back. Setting up for warrior two on the other side. Gaze over the front fingertips. And take a short step in, straightening both legs with a micro bend in each knee. Bump out the back hip, reaching forward, lowering the right hand to tree pose, tree konasana. Use your core to lift yourself back up to standing. Windmill the arms down, down to the mat. Step back to downward dog. And walk your hands to meet your feet. In forward fold. Rising to upward salute. Drawing the hands through heart center to Tadasana. Upward salute, forward fold, halfway lift, 
back to fold. Plant your hands on the mat, step back to plank, and take a flow of your choice, meeting a downward dog. Lifting the left leg, coming into warrior two once again. Reaching forward, bring your right hand to your hip and lower your left elbow to your thigh as if you were coming into extended side ankle. This time, lowering your left hand to the mat in front of your foot. We're going to play with a little bit of weight shifting. So just bending into the front knee, bending into the back knee. Maybe shifting the arm a little bit more forward. Maybe hovering the back foot an inch or two off the mat. Just shifting forwards and backwards. And then when you're done, find stillness. Reach your left, your right arm up towards the ceiling, coming back up to warrior two. Bring your hands to your hips, straighten both legs, parallel the feet to one another, lengthen through the spine and fold forward. Shifting your weight into the right leg, bending into the right knee, and then shifting the weight, bending into the left knee, just flowing back and forth at your own pace. Come back to center, bring your hands to your hips, ground through the feet, coming all the way back up. Coming into warrior two on this other side. Bring your, le your left hand to your hip, reach forward, lower your right elbow, and lower your right hand down to the mat. As we start to play with the weight shifting, once again, bending into the front knee, bending into the back knee, hovering the back toes a little bit, And then coming back up to warrior two, windmill the arms down to the mat, step back to downward dog, lower the knees to the mat, untuck your toes and send the hips back to your heels, resting your forehead on the mat in child's pose. Reach your arms out in front, lift the hips, tuck your toes, send the hips back to downward dog, walking your hands to meet the feet in forward fold. Rising to upward salute, drawing the hands through heart center to Tadasana. We're gonna do a quick tree pose, trikonasana. I mean, not trikonasana, brikshasana, tree pose. Shifting the weight into the left leg, bending the right knee and externally rotating the right leg. You can have your heel kick standed onto your ankle or you can bring the foot to the calf or the foot to the thigh. Externally rotating, hands at heart center or extending your arms overhead. Reaching through the crown of the head as if you were growing your tree even taller. And grounding through the three corners of the foot as if you were growing your roots deeper into the ground. If 
Beautiful, drawing your hands to your heart center, guiding the leg closed, shifting the weight into the right leg, bending the left knee, externally rotate, and bring your foot to wherever is most comfortable as long as you avoid putting, putting pressure on the knee. And hands can be at heart center or above your head. Awesome job. Draw your hands through heart center. Guide your left leg closed. Meet back in Tadasana at the top of the mat. Upward salute. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Back to fold. Plant your hands on the mat and step back to plank. Take a flow of your choice and meet in downward dog. Plant the left foot coming up to warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Come back to warrior two. And this time, bringing your right hand to your hip, your left hand down to the mat. Starting to shift the weight forward. Stepping the back foot in, reaching your right arm in front, your, your left arm out in front of you, and starting to lift the back leg, stacking the shoulders and stacking the hips as we come into half moon pose, Ardha Chandrasana. Really engaging the core, stamping your right, your right foot into the invisible wall behind you. And if you, if you would like, you can reach your right arm up towards the ceiling as well. As we continue to open up the chest, stacking the shoulders, Finding a drishti, a focal point, something non-moving that you can focus on to help keep your balance. Keeping a micro bend in the standing leg. Amazing job. Bring your right hand to your hip. Bending into the left knee. Lowering your back foot. Coming back up to warrior two. Coming back to the breath, great job. Windmilling the arms down, and stepping back to downward dog. Take a full breath cycle. Lifting the right leg. Coming up to warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Back to warrior two, bring your left hand to your hip, right hand down to the mat, beginning to step in, bring your right hand out in front of you, starting to float the back foot off the mat, stacking the shoulders, stacking the hips, coming into half moon pose. Maybe reaching your left arm up towards the ceiling, Really pressing the back foot into the wall behind you. Awesome job. Great, bring your left hand to your hip, bend into the right knee planting the back foot on the mat and coming up to warrior two. Windmill the arms down to the mat, step back to downward dog, lower your knees to the mat, untuck your toes and send the hips back to child's pose with your arms down by your side and resting your forehead on the mat.
reach your hands out in front of you, tuck the toes, lift the knees, stab or float to the top of the mat, reaching up towards the ceiling, drawing your hands through heart center to Tadasana. One more time, reaching up towards the ceiling and folding forward. Halfway lift, back to fold. Plant your hands on the mat, step back to plank. Take a flow of your choice and meet in downward dog. Lift your left leg. Bend the knee, draw it in towards the chest and lay the shin across the mat as you lower your left knee by your left wrist. Lower the back knee, untuck the back toes, flexing the front foot to protect the knee as we settle into pigeon pose. Starting up on the hands. If you'd like, you can lower onto your forearms. Coming up on the hands, tuck the back toe, lift the knee, send the left leg back to three-legged dog, drawing circles with the knee, and switch direction. Lower the left toes onto the mat, lift the right leg, bend the knee, draw it in towards the chest, lay the shin across the mat, lowering your right knee by your right wrist. Lower the back knee, untuck the back toes. Flexing the front foot. And if you'd like, you can lower onto your forearms in pigeon. Coming up on the hands, tuck the back toes, lift the knee, send the right leg back to the three-legged dog, drawing circles with the knee in each direction. Lower your toes back down onto the mat, lower the knees to the mat, and make your way into a seated position with your legs stretched out in front of you in Dandasana staff pose. Reaching through the crown of the head, flexing through the feet, and folding forward in any amount. Coming back up. Bend the right knee, plant the right foot on the other side of the left knee with your right knee pointing up towards the ceiling. Hover the fingertips above the mat, lengthen through the spine, and twist over towards the right for a, a twist. Lightly tenting your right fingertips by your side, keeping the chin over your chest, and a half lord of the fishes. And if you'd like, you can 
bring the gaze over your right shoulder. Bring the gaze back to center, bring the body back to center, uncross the legs, bending the left knee, planting the left foot. Reach through the crown of the head and twist over towards the left. back to center, uncross the legs, and reach your arms out in front of you as you slowly lower all the way down onto the mat, bending the knees, bringing the soles of the feet together, knees coming out wide, Supta Baddha Konasana, reclined bound ankle, arms down by your sides. Use your hands to guide the legs closed, hugging the knees in towards the chest, rocking a little side to side, front and back. Hugging the right knee in towards the chest, laying the left leg long on the mat, flexing into the foot. Hugging the right knee in deeper towards the chest with each exhale. Reaching your right arm out to the side, drawing your right knee across the body for a twist, keeping both shoulder blades planted on the mat and your gaze up towards the ceiling. If you'd like, you can bring your gaze over your right shoulder. Bring the gaze back to center, bring the legs back to center. Hug the left knee in towards the chest and lay your right leg long on the mat, flexing the foot and hugging the left knee in deeper towards the chest with each exhale. Reach your left arm out to the side Drawing your right knee across the, or drawing your left knee across the body for a twist. Once again, keeping your shoulder blades planted on the mat and your gaze up towards the ceiling. If you'd like, you can bring your gaze over your left shoulder. Bring the gaze back to center, bring the knee back to center. Hug both knees into the chest and reach for the outer edges of your feet, drawing the knees in towards the armpits for happy baby. Drawing the tailbone towards the mat, maybe rocking a little side to side. And slowly release, rolling onto your right side. We're gonna slowly get up one more time before we do Shavasana. And we're gonna drag your mat up to a wall or to a chair, whatever you have nearby. And we're gonna do legs up the wall. So once you've lined your mat up with a wall or a chair, sit with your hips right next to the wall. with enough room for you to lie back on the mat and reach your legs 
up the ceiling or up towards the ceiling. Scrubbing your heels up the wall. In. Relaxing the shoulders. Coming back to the breath. Bending the knees, rolling onto your right side, and just making your way onto the mat on your back. With your arms down by your sides, allowing the feet to slide to the sides, allow the gaze to soften or the eyes to close. Doing a full body scan from the top of your head to the tips of your toes, releasing any remaining tension as you settle into your Shavasana. Start to bring awareness back into the body. Wiggling the fingers and the toes. Drawing circles with the wrists and the ankles. Reaching your arms overhead for a full body stretch. And using your arm as a pillow as you roll onto your right side. Using your hands to lift yourself up into a seated position. With your hands together at heart center. Namaste. Thank you all so much for joining me for yoga this evening. Again, my name is Julia, and I hope to see you again next week. Have a great night.